This thing I hear about the new departure tax. That's crazy. I was just watching uh, Mr. Leak's vlog. And he was talking about that. And he made so many good points. I think everybody should watch that video. No matter what political party or, or no matter what you stand for. Even if you have a religious belief. Once you are a Dominican citizen, I believe you should go watch this video. Because he's... he's what he's talking about, everything that the man saying is making sense. And I can feel what the man saying because that is the thing is that how much people in the country feel in. Just it's just crazy man, you see you see how their man is. And as he says his opinion, but to me I believe he's very correct. It's because of the same debt that I was talking about in my previous video. It's that same debt that have us throughout the years that the Chinese had that we had this agreement with the Chinese. See that right now. Is that we owe so much money, we have so much debt that we cannot even support our own country anymore. Right now it's not about that, it's about paying back what we owe. <laughs> oh, how oh, that end up being our problem. Majority of the money that we work for to keep that money stable, we never even use that money, never even enjoy that money. You know, the goodness of the land that we enjoy, we never enjoy that money. Because, as he say, which other country that in the Caribbean that paying all those fees? I remember seeing a, a compilation of pictures of different hospitals around the Caribbean and all the hospitals of the other Caribbeans, even St. Lucia. Well, nice and well established, well developed, and come to Dominica is Kushoni. You check and it's done not just the the, the um, hospital. I just wonder how the people on the east does do it. How they do in it? Because I know you have to go to urban areas to to if you want a proper job that giving you a good pay. And a lot of people they have to take bus. They have to pay their bills in town. Everything they need is in town and they're living right in the east. You have to pay a good amount of money every day if you go into town every day to work. And to survive, pay your bills, buy your groceries, even the things you order or whatever. Because it has certain things they just send down to talk. Man, I just don't know. It's just crazy, yeah? And I don't know if that is not enough for the people of Dominica to realize. It's time for us to start our own rev revolution against that. Because long time the Rasta man had seen. And long time the Rasta man prophesied that these things would have come to pass. And then riots will be. And then killing will be. Murders. You know? And then people missing. And you can't find them. And all them things are happening because everything in crisis. How much people, other than in the music, how much people that really need the money and really need a means of, of survival. And that is why there's travel get things, come down DA, sell them things, just like what Mr. Lick say, you know, man, and it just, that's just madness, man, I check in, if, if, if people can still be ignorant after that, I don't know, I don't know what hope I can have for the people of Dominica again, if they can open their mind and turn their back right now, because from now, it just, shit just go and get real, you know, and that's why the Rasta man say, and the conscious man say, you have to go back home. You check? That's why the motherland is back home. You know? And people have to know that. Black people have to know that. Unless you don't go back home, you will stay in struggle forever. 